Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church. I'm delighted you joined us, but as I begin, I want to encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so YouTube recommends this content to more people. We would love to hear from you in the comments below, too. I'm David Palmquist. When my daughter was a toddler, I caught her sitting at the kitchen counter stuffing marshmallows in her mouth. She squeezed her eyes shut, and she said, Don't see me! Don't see me! God is a nickname in the Old Testament. In Hebrew, it is El Roy, translated, the God who sees. That should trouble us when we do or say stuff we'd rather hide. God sees. No matter how well we lick the wrongdoing off our fingers, God sees. No matter how we justify our sinful cravings, God sees. No matter how tightly we squeeze our eyes shut, God's are wide open. The woman who addressed God as El Roy wasn't trying to hide. It's in the Old Testament. Hagar was desperate to be seen. She was Sarai and Abram's servant. Neither of them call her by name in the Bible account. But desperate for a child, Baron Sarai offered Hagar to her husband as a surrogate. Hagar taunted Sarai with her pregnancy, and Sarai retaliated with abuse. Abraham turned a blind eye, so Hagar fled. God found her in the desert, without a plan, alone, afraid, unloved, and he called her by name. He gave her a promise and a way to right her wrongs. Hagar marveled, you are the God who sees me, Genesis sixteen thirteen. So when God sees our wrongdoing, he doesn't recoil. He approaches us with his word and promises. He calls us by name. He knows every hair on our heads. He certainly knows our struggles. And he shows us the way out at the cross. There, the sinless Jesus became our sinful surrogate so that we could become his holy heirs. What a blessing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's a great joy to know that you see us and you love us in spite of our sins because you sent your Son to pay for our sins. Send your Holy Spirit again to us to strengthen us, to be with us, to assure us of your presence, knowing that you always see us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining us again today for Daily Hope from God's Word. And remember what the Lord said and what Hagar repeated. Don't be afraid. I have called you by name. You are mine.